I knew designed the team. <laughs> scripture tonight comes from the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 and my God will meet all your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus mm -hmm. remember yes. he's the words of it, all your needs yeah not your wants all your needs not your wants yeah. according to his riches according to his riches yeah. Father we thank you for being God we thank you for another day of life. Lord, we are not here because of anything we have done, yes. but it's because of you. Yes. You allowed your mercy and grace to shower us all day long. Oh, yes. And we thank you for it, Lord, because we realize you didn't have to. Oh, yes. You kept us safe. You have blessed us with all of our needs. You blessed us with food for the nourishment of our bodies, water for our thirst clothes on our backs, roofs over our heads, transportation, reasonable portion of health and strength. Oh, yes. Bless us with our mental abilities, Lord God. And we realize all these things come from you. Yes. We don't take it for granted, Lord God, because we know it didn't have to be, Lord God. Yes. So we thank you for your love, mercy, and grace. Yes. And now we ask that you would bless this uh, Bible study tonight, Lord God, and Bless your word, bless Pastor Haynes, and pray that all of us will learn something new from your word tonight, Lord God. And whatever we might learn, Lord, just help us to take it and put it into practice, apply it to our everyday living, Lord God. You have blessed Bethany Baptist Church, Lord Amen. God, and we thank you. Doors are still open, Lord God. We ask in your blessings upon the worship service on Sunday, Lord God. Yes, yes. We pray for our uh, extraordinary service, worship yes. service, Lord God. Pray that, Holy Spirit, that you would be on high, Lord, and just help us, Lord God, to remember we come here to worship you. Yes. Not the pastor, not the choir, not the ushers, yes. not the deacons. We want to come here Sunday worshiping you. When we get up out of our bed Sunday morning, Lord God, help us to keep our focus yes. on you. Yes. 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 And just we can worship you from our homes to the church, Lord yes, God. Lord. We get out of our cars and come in the doors. Yes, we Lord. want to be worshiping you, Lord God. Yes, yes. The reason why is because you are our Savior. Yes. You're our maker, you're our creator, you're our protector, Lord God. And you deserve all of the praise that we can give you, Lord yes. God. Now we lift up uh, our believers in you tonight, Lord God. Yes. Yes. Keep us safe from the evil forces in this world, Lord God. We know Satan is, is just prowling, trying to bring us down every minute of our lives. But we want to stay close to you, Lord God. Yes. And just ask for your protection and your strength, Lord God. Bless the, your people who are sick tonight, Lord, and all over this world, Lord. Bless doctors, nurses, medicines, caretakers, hospitals, rehab, wherever someone is physically sick. And then, Lord, we don't want to leave out the mentally sick tonight, yes, Lord. Lord. Touch their minds, Lord God. And then, Lord, lift up the people that are bereaved of loved ones tonight, Lord. Yes. Comfort them in this dark period in their lives, Lord yes. God. So we just say thank you again for yes. what you've done for us, and we thank you for what you've done for us in the past, yes. Lord God. Yes. And now we're thanking you in advance for what you're going to do for us, yes. Lord God. You are wonderful. You are awesome, Lord God. So we just yes. say thank you again in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Yes. Okay, Lord, again, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for the opportunity.
comment and humble as we uh, know how to be in your presence, O Lord. Holy and still, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. I thank you for our children, dear Lord, as well. Watches over them you know, day and night and they, uh, daily activities that they do and those uh, who take care and watch over them day and night, dear Lord, from their house to the schoolhouse, dear yes. Lord. Yes. As you dear Lord, just for bless this in Bible study lesson, dear Lord, we thank you. Lord. Let our mind and our hearts and our ears be receptive to your word. Dear yes, Lord. Lord. We ask you, dear Lord, just give uh, Pastor Haynes, dear Lord, the words of, of the teaching of, uh, of your word, dear Lord, that it be so simple that a little child will be able to mm -hmm. understand, dear Lord. But let us, dear Lord, also, if we don't know, to ask questions, dear Lord. Yes. If they, if they stop thinking that we know everything, or we understand yes. Yes, everything that's being said, dear Lord. Yes, Lord. As you, dear Lord, bless the singers and the elders, dear Lord, and watch over them and continue uh, to take him and supply their every need, dear Lord. Yes, Lord. As you, dear Lord, just as we lift up the seat and shed in him, and your healing and power upon him. And you the comfort and the strength for the bereaved family, dear Lord. Yes, Lord. As you do, our best soldiers out there in the streets, dear Lord, that uh, that label themselves as homeless when they're not homeless. Now all they got to do is come to these sins like the prodigal son and go back home to open arms with their yes. family, dear yes, Lord. Lord. And start to just trying to be out there to play games, dear Lord. Yes. And I ask you, dear Lord, just just watch over them and just take care of them, dear Lord. Actually, you know, there's so much stuff that's going on in this world, dear Lord. I'm tired of every time I turn on the TV and, uh, and listen to the news, there ain't nothing but bad news. When are you going to uh, talk about some good news, dear Lord? Uh, instead of just we listen, how to listen to what, what's evil and wickedness going on, dear Lord. And we know, dear Lord, uh, uh, getting close to the last days, dear Lord. And there you go, uh, he appreciates that uh, judgment day is coming, dear Lord. But dear Lord, we're gonna be ready when that time comes, dear yes, Lord. As you dear Lord, as Christians, dear Lord, we need to continue, dear Lord, to walk in your guidance and into your will, dear Lord. Going out to reach others, dear Lord, that's out there, that's lost, that don't know your son as a personal savior, but come to know him as a personal savior. Mm -hmm. And then and those that straight away to come back home yes. into the house of faith. Mm -hmm. As you dear Lord, every morning, dear Lord, we should Get up with you on our mind, dear Lord. Yes. And, 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 and just think about you, Lord. He's uh, just worship every step we take. Worship you uh, while we eat breakfast. Worship you while we cook in breakfast. While we are uh, on our way to work. While we at work, dear Lord. While we in the store, dear Lord. Our mind should be focused on you and you only and not what's going on in this world, dear Lord. Yes. Ask you, dear Lord, continue to watch us and uh, to strengthen us to be here. God, the person that you call us to be. I ask it all in your God and Son's name. The Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Oh, gracious Master, we come to you once again with our hearts to open, my Heavenly Father. Yes. We just thank you for another day, my Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Even though the day did not go the way that we predicted yes. it to go, my Heavenly Father, but you kept a hedge of protection around yes. us, my Heavenly Father, that we were able to come back into your house of worship tonight, yes. my Heavenly Father. And I just thank you for that. My Heavenly Father, I thank you for just being there today, yes, my Heavenly yes. Father. I thank you for just holding my hand today, yes, my Heavenly Lord. Father, and guiding me the way that I needed to go, my Heavenly yes, Father. Yes. I thank you for just being able to wake up this morning with you on my mind, my yes, Heavenly Father, yes. and being able to get out of bed on my own, my yes, Heavenly Father. I just yes. praise you right now thank for you. all that you're doing in my life, my Heavenly yes, Father. Yes. I just thank yes, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You've been so good to me. Yes, yes, Lord. And I just thank you for it. Thank you, my Lord. You didn't have to do it, but yes, you did it, my Heavenly Father. And I just thank you for your grace and your mercy, my yes, Heavenly Father. Lord. Just praise you right now. I yes. just thank you. Thank I'm you. so grateful yes. for this day, my Heavenly Father. Yes. I just praise you right now in your darling son's name. Amen. 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 Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Joshua, Joshua, chapter 7. But the children of Israel committed a trespass in the accursed thing. For Achan, the son of Carmi, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, took of the accursed thing. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against the children of Israel. And Joshua sent men from Jericho to Ai, which is beside beth -Avon, on the east side of Bethel and spake unto them, saying, Go up and view the country. And the men went up and viewed I. And they returned to Joshua and said unto him, Let not all the people go up, but let about two or three thousand men go up and smite I. And make not all the people to labor thither, for they are but few. So there went up thither of the people about three thousand men, and they fled before the men of I. And the men of I smote of them about thirty and six men. For they chased them from before the gate, even under Shepherah, right, and smote them in the going down. Wherefore the hearts of the people melted and became as water. And Joshua rent his clothes and fell to the earth upon his face before the ark of the Lord until the eventide, he and the elders of Israel, and put dust upon their heads. And Joshua said, Alas, O Lord God, wherefore hast thou at all brought this people over Jordan? to deliver us into the hand of the Amorites, to destroy us. Would to God we had been content and dwelt on the other side, Jordan. O oh Lord, what shall I say when Israel turneth their backs before their enemies? For the Canaanites and all the inhabitants of the land shall hear of it, and shall environ us round and cut off our name from the earth. And what wilt thou do unto thy great name? And the Lord said unto Joshua, Get thee up, wherefore liest thou thus upon thy face? Israel hath sinned, 
and they have also transgressed my covenant which I commanded them. For they have even taken of the accursed thing, and have also stolen and dissembled also, and they have put it even among their own stuff. Mm. Therefore the children of Israel could not stand before their enemies, but turned their backs before their enemies, because they were accursed. Neither will I be with you any more, except ye destroy the accursed from among you. Mm. Up, sanctify the people, and say, Sanctify yourselves against tomorrow, for thus saith the Lord God of Israel, There is an accursed thing in the midst of thee, O Israel. Thou canst not stand before thine enemies until ye take away the accursed thing from among you. In the morning, therefore, ye shall be brought according to your tribes, and it shall be that the tribe which the Lord taketh shall come according to the families thereof. And the family which the Lord shall take shall come by households. And the household which the Lord shall take shall come man by man. Mm. And it shall be that he that is taken with the accursed thing shall be burnt with fire, he and all that he hath. Because he hath transgressed the covenant of the Lord, and because he hath wrought folly in Israel. So Joshua rose up early in the morning and brought Israel by their tribes, and the tribe of Judah was taken. And he brought the family of Judah, and he took the family of the Zarhites, and he brought the family of the Zarhites man by man, and Zabdi was taken. And he brought his household man by man, and Achan the son of Carmi, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah was taken. And Joshua said unto Achan, My son, give, I pray thee, glory to the Lord God of Israel, and make confession unto him. And tell me now what thou hast done. Hide it not from me. And Achan answered Joshua and said, Indeed, I have sinned against the Lord God of Israel, and thus and thus have I done. When I saw among the spoils a goodly Babylonish garment, and two hundred shekels of silver, and a weight of gold of fifty shekels weight, then I coveted them and took them. And behold, they are hid in the earth in the midst of my tent, and the silver under it. So Joshua sent messengers, and they ran unto the tent, and behold, it was hid in his tent, and the silver under it. And they took them out of the midst of the tent, and brought them unto Joshua, and unto all the children of Israel, and laid them out before the Lord. And Joshua and all Israel with him took Achan the son of Zerah, and the silver and the garment, and the wedge of gold, and his sons and his daughters, and his oxen and his asses, and his sheep, and his tent, and all that he had. And they brought them unto the valley of Achor. And Joshua said, Why hast thou troubled us? The Lord shall trouble thee this day. And all Israel stoned him with stones and burned them with fire after they had stoned them with stones. And they raised over him a great heap of stones unto this day. So the Lord turned from the fierceness of his anger. Wherefore the name of that place was called the Valley of Achor unto this day. Questions, comments? It's kind of a continuation of we've been laboring from the subject or theme of uh, disciples of Christ or disciples of Jesus uh, from the perspective of uh, how to perceive how to proceed. Uh, we look at the Old Testament, of course you're not going to see Jesus mentioned in this particular chapter in the Old Testament. Uh, but we're dealing with God and Israel. Uh, on the timeline, remember, Moses is God. Uh, he is called by Joshua as being the leader. Joshua uh, has the position, but uh, God says, I'm going to elevate you in the eyes of the people. And he does so by allowing them to cross the Jordan River. The fact that he used a miracle to cross the river uh, gives the people respect for him because now it's not just Moses who uh, have perpetuated miracles, now God uses Joshua 
perpetuate that river, crossing the river of the Jordan River. Um, the first thing God tells them when they enter into the promised land is that they need to um, circumcise me. They had been in the wilderness for 40 years. Mm -hmm. Everybody older than 20 when they started is now dead, with the exception of Caleb and Joshua. Mm -hmm. uh, and they hadn't performed any circumcision in those whole 40 years. So now he has to circumcise all of the men. Next thing God says, sanctify yourself. Because they're about to participate in the miracle, the miracle of the, um, the victory over Jericho. You remember that God is very particular on how He wants that done. Because He wants everybody to understand it's Him who has made the victory possible. So they're told to march around the wall one time a day for six days with our covenant leading them. And then on the seventh day, they had to march around seven times. And uh, after they have finished the seventh revolution, they are to shout. First time they allowed to say anything, because all before they've been marching in silence. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, any black folks marching quiet, that was a miracle that they didn't slip. <laughs> That's another sign. Another thing we have to march see some walls fall, start shouting. <laughs> so that uh, they have given, they are given this victory, powerful victory. So now God has some stipulations, he told them. When you enter the land, you are to <coughs> kill the people. <coughs> kill all the sport. Goats, camels, bulls, sheep, um, but all the silver and the gold belong to me. You ought to put that in my house. Mm -hmm. All right. Everything's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. When they get the victory, God is not his. It's some kind of victory. I mean, they come through and say, but man, you know, we get this pretty easy. We got this AI up front. Let's go on the AI and uh, send out some spies. Joshua mm -hmm. sent some spies to him. And you remember last time they spent, said spies? They had three times they sent spies. They came back for an year. They sent spies. That's when they came back. Tim Gate came back with a crazy report. Mm -hmm. Joshua and Caleb came back with it. But he sent spies when they got to Jericho. That's when they went to Rahab's house. Mm -hmm. After they heard of Rahab, they had to go to where else because she said, hey, man, we know it's going to be this. We know your God. <coughs> y'all going to win because y'all going We heard about him. He, what he did in Egypt, what he did on the Red Sea. Then when the Jordan said, man, y'all got the victory. Just save me and my family. Say, man, it ain't that big, that many folks. Army small, we have this, you know. Mm -hmm. Don't be about 3,000 folks, man. Mm -hmm. We go down there, we can put that up pretty easy. <laughs> they go down there, and they can put AI, kick their butt, man. <laughs> you come back running. In fact, I think it said it was 28 or 26. Me and my kid. Man. People are devastated. Joshua's wiped out. Wiped out. Well, he talking crazy, man. He's saying, hey, you, we, we should have just stayed on the other side of the flood. We're going to get it. Let these Amorites kill us. What the people going to say? Our God let the people of Israel come this far just to be wiped out. 
devastated. People, in fact, the Bible said they said the same thing Rahab said. They had melted in terms of their desire, their eagerness. What do you get from that? I wonder why they that that way. It's almost like they blame God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Leaving them. Mm -hmm. They blame God for not doing what He said. Mm -hmm. Well, Joshua was distraught, laying on the ground. He all, well, why did you let? He was fussing with God, basically. Mm -hmm. And God said, Get your butt out there, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's like, I've done something wrong. He said, the reason why you lost the battle is because there is an accursed in Israel. There is an accursed in Israel. There's a curse. So now we're not dealing with God doing something wrong. You see this now. Even though there's one man who had the accursed, we talked about it before. God says Israel has got the accursed. One man. God told him not to take anything. But he says Israel. What I want you to see is that with God, God not only deals with us according to our individual accountability, <coughs> God also deals with us according to our communal accountability. Mm -hmm. That we are not only accountable to God for what we do, but we are accountable to God for what us do. represent Haynes, mm -hmm. I represent Bethany. Mm -hmm. A lot of times I wear a coat and no suit. A lot of times I wear a suit. <coughs> when I go in public try to look decent, because I'm the pastor of Bethany. So when I represent Bethany, it's a bad reflection on the whole church. I don't follow that. Mm -hmm. You all right over there, girl? You want some water? You got a cocktail over there. Drink some of that water. <coughs> it's free, but it's good. <laughs> oh, so powerful, man. It took a breath away. <laughs> yeah, I see where I'm coming from. Responsibility for what all of our members do. We're not just accountable for what we do, we're responsible for the communal actions of the earth. First thing I see after the first thing I just said was that it's easy, excuse me. For the devil to cause us to mess up after a success mm. than it is for us to mess up after a defeat. Mm. It's not hard to get folks to call on the Lord when stuff is going bad. <laughs> Sam was praying hard when he was in the hospital. As soon as God let him out, <laughs> 
missing prayer meeting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The doctor said he don't know what's wrong with you. Mm -hmm. They don't want to get nobody to pray. Remember, he died in church, pray for us. The devil has an easier time after success. They just, they just defeated Jericho. They got people running. They firing folk. They killing folk. Mm -hmm. They did everything God told them to do. Man, they looking bad. I mean, can you imagine the whole walls falling down? But you know what? Uh, sometimes when God uses us in a big victorious endeavor, uh, we have a tendency to kind of act like we did. Mm -hmm. Now, Kelly, you start wanting to take credit for what God has done. I don't see why that's the case. Oh, really? Seems like they got a pretty big head. Where in the passage after they won Jericho do you see where they prayed to God for God? When Joshua was on the other side, he was talking to God. Because mm -hmm. as I was with Moses, I talked to you with you. Mm -hmm. Every time in the ground, he praying to God. What you want me to do? God is the one who told him to circumcise the folk. God is the one who told him how he wanted them to sanctify themselves. God is the one who told him how he wanted to march around the wall. He gave instructions. He's praying to God. And God is guiding him. He ain't praying. About AI. Right. <coughs> That's all I had. Oh, he ain't praying. I'm going to go now. I'm going to go now. It's easy. <laughs> we, got, we got momentum. And if we don't whoop this big nation, not no problem this little head. You even have to send the whole arm. Just send a few folks. Y'all see it? Mm -hmm. And uh, if you're not careful, you'll think that they lost because of the strategy not being the right strategy. Because God did give them a different strategy on the second in Delvin chapter 8. It's not really the strategy, it's their posture. They, they basically ignore God. And that's kind of the problem. You get to the point where we uh, are. We think we can kind of do it on our own. Mm -hmm. We've got to take it for granted. You know, we can proceed. Well, you know, I've been walking with God enough and since God gave me the victory, I know what to do now. Mm -hmm. and I know what to do now. How many times you pray to ask God what steps he wants you to take next? Mm -hmm. We say about all of my steps. In your word, dear Lord, when's the last time you ask God what step to take? Mm -hmm. I can't look at the word to get the steps if I ain't reading the word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it ain't about written words. Sometimes it's about living words. Mm -hmm. I gotta ask him how to proceed. That's why I gotta maintain the relationship. We're talking, we're gonna talk about that, that if you're gonna be a disciple of Christ, you have to be attached to the word of Christ. <coughs> His word is spirit. Mm -hmm. Joshua is he was in good shape, but now he he lost connection. He destroyed. He on the ground. Really sorry for himself because God deserted it, and it's not God that deserted him, he deserted God. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's all that fair. Why should we all suffer for one man? Are they really suffering for one man? <coughs> what did Achan do? Takes, he said, I saw Babylonian robe. Yeah. It's a pretty fancy suit. Custom made suit. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. I wanted that. Mm -hmm. I took it. I 
saw some silver, some silver coins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably that. I took it. <clears throat> saw some pillars. They call them bricks of gold. Basically, he lust after what he saw, mm -hmm. and he took it. His eyes was taken up in materialism. One guy was listening to a sermon, he was talking about, uh, it's like y'all, and y'all don't pay y'all tithes. I could see long you talking about aching, but we would stone that sucker. Don't you start thinking about what you don't do. Uh -uh. Have mercy, Lord, have mercy. But it's not like tithes. We're not dealing with tithes here. Because with tithes, God gives us the whole and say, you owe me 10%. Mm -hmm. In this instance, God say, all of this is mine. Mm -hmm. He didn't steal 10%. Mm -hmm. He stole God's stuff. Mm -hmm. This ain't your stuff. This belongs to God. Mm -hmm. The nerves. I'm going to take that which belongs to God. Question. How do you steal from God? Hmm. That's that question uh, Malachi asked. Will a man rob God? I know, I know y'all will. Y'all know there was something. <laughs> this is worse than that. <coughs> This joke is going to rob from God and act like he can get away with it. Mm -hmm. What does he do when he gets the stuff? Right. Takes it back to the tent and buries it. Mm -hmm. Why would you bury a custom made suit? Mm -hmm. Why would you bury a silver and gold? Mm -hmm. I mean, I can see you bury some seed. Because when a seed is in the ground, <laughs> it'll grow. Mm -hmm. Why would you bury a soup? Can't make silver grow. <clears throat> but that's kind of what folk do, baby. They won't do stuff. They ain't doing nothing with it. It's just seed. How many of mean, y'all got, got clothes in your closet with tags on? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, but, I mean, you, you get a lot of stuff, but I mean, you think like materialistic, materialism has a problem. I don't see that one. God don't have you a problem that you have in stuff. He's got a problem when your stuff has you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but there's a difference in you having some extra shirts in your closet, still in the package, and you have some that God told you not to touch. God don't want your shirt. Your shirt ain't gonna fit God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but He don't want you taking that which belongs to Him. Mm -hmm. It may not be like take stuff and bury it instead of doing something with it. Mm -hmm. Taking money and burying it instead of investing it mm -hmm. so it can reap something. Remember when that, that man took that that talent? Money. God had no problem because he buried it. If you'd have put it in the bank, at least I could have got some interest on it. God has a problem with you not investing into the system to grow that which he has blessed you with. If I grow what I got, I can then be a blessing. I can bless others. Again, he's not talking about his money. This ain't his money. He just stole God's money. And he gonna bury it to hide it. Question. How do you hide anything? <laughs> For real. It's kind of insulting. You kind of insulting God. You know, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna hide this from God. You wasting your time. How do you how do you get your mind? Fix your mind to where you go.
God, here's what God told you. Mm. And you get arrogant enough mm. to do it. Mm. And it's all like, you know, like it's no problem. Mm. So what? I don't know if you lost it. I don't know if you ever had it to that point. <clears throat> I mean, that's kind of arrogant. It's a, you get to the point where you feel like you can break God's law and there are no consequences. Mm -hmm. You get to the point where you can break God's law and the consequences apply to other folks, mm -hmm. but it doesn't apply to you. Mm -hmm. I, I got so happy one time. I was, I told God, I know what I'm about to do is wrong. Mm -hmm. I know you got grace. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it. Then I'm asking to forgive me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll live happily ever after. Mm -hmm. That's pretty arrogant. Yeah. That's kind of what Lincoln is doing. Because you've got to be careful when you start trying to manipulate God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, that's pretty interesting. How can you say you're spiritual and you're trying to proceed spiritually by God's guidance and you're doing everything God told you not to do? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this message for me well, it is, to be truthful, I think it happens to everybody at some point in time. But I mean, in hindsight, see, this is my thing. This is my thing. A lot of times we want to blame God for our lack of blessings. But if the truth be told, every blessing we did not receive can really be tied to our misactions. <clears throat> Put it this way. Every crop we receive is because of seeds we plant. Be not deceived. God is not a joke. Whatever you plant, <coughs> when you plant a seed of discord, mm -hmm. it's coming up. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Bible says, Bible says, God told Adam, the day you eat of the fruit, you'll die. Mm -hmm. He didn't say you're going to start dying. Mm -hmm. The day. <coughs> he didn't really die. Yeah, he died. He died spiritually. Mm -hmm. He died eternally, but he died physically. He was when he ate that food, <coughs> he was spiritually dead because he was spiritually out of fellowship with God. Mm -hmm. He died physically because God never intended for Adam to die. Mm -hmm. right. When God created Adam, he wanted to be created. He created him to be with him, to sit next to him. Mm -hmm. You talk about angels. God really made Adam to evolve into a state greater than angels. Y'all don't believe that. You read Hebrews. That's what's confusing about Hebrews. Mm -hmm. Y'all says uh, God made him a little lower than the angels. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's kind of an interpretation difference. He said. When you really look at it, he said he made him a little lower than God. Don't follow my logic. Look at what he says. He says you can always tell the greater because the greater is always ministered to by the lesser. He's talking about Christ being a man. But he's greater than the angel. It's right there. Because it's the angels 
who ministers to Jesus. <clears throat> How many times angels have ministered to the human? To man? Oh, they're strong, but they got power. Mm -hmm. But see, you can't look at the way I am now. Look at the way I'm going to evolve. That's another, I can't take a mission out like that's another sir. How does God Revealed, I use that word, <laughs> who the guilty party is. <laughs> How is Joshua going to find out who the accursed is? So I said, I'll tell you what, I want you to get all of the heads of the tribes mm -hmm. <clears throat> to walk before me. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you what tribe he is. We have cats. What tribe he come up with? Judah. 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 Mm -hmm. The chosen tribe. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes you can be chosen and still be messed up. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get messed up because you're in the chosen tribe. Mm -hmm. You think you're above the law. Mm -hmm. Then he says, okay, I'm going to tell you what family he's in in Judah. So you get all the great, great, great grandpas to go before him. Hmm. He picked that. Then he get the great grandpas. He picked that. But finally, he gets Achan's daddy. Hmm. And after he picks Achan's daddy, then he picked Achan. <laughs> He's the one. Right, hmm. Now, you could have left it there. But if Joshua would have had it stoned then, it could always be said he picked the wrong man mm -hmm. and killed him. Mm -hmm. So what does Joshua do? I say, hey, bro, come on, give God the glory. <laughs> God the glory we're talking about. Give God some credit. Admit it, not, did not only God find you, but tell us, reveal to us, that God found the right you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so you want, in other words, confess. Mm -hmm. Did he confess? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. I went to the tent. I saw this road. Mm -hmm. It was custom made super. Super 250, super 300 wood. <laughs> but the road. They just right. Stitches. Hand me. I want it. He said about the wrong book. This is the AK Haynes translation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, he said he saw the silk. <clears throat> he took it. I saw this with the gold I took. And I brought it to my tent. And I buried it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right there now. And they went and done <coughs> the very goods and bought it out. The evidence was right there. Not only did he confess, mm -hmm. but they got their own heads. Mm -hmm. He's caught in God's stuff. Mm -hmm. Amen. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give him some credit for confessing. <laughs> the Bible says that God didn't just take him by himself. He took him, his wife, his children, all his possessions, his cows, his cattle, his sheep, his bulls, his goats, his cattle. Everything he had. Mm -hmm. All that, that custom made suit. That gold he had. Mm -hmm. You want it? I'm going to let you keep it. Mm -hmm. Put all that in the valley. And they throw stones on there. Mm -hmm. 
to the all within the donate. Mm -hmm. Just in case it was back over there in Turkey, and you got somebody at the bottom of the, of the pile, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he took a torch and put it all on fire. Mm -hmm. And when he got to burning everything, everything, mm -hmm. then he covered the whole valley where they were mm -hmm. with some stones. And those stones are still there to this day. Mm -hmm. What he said here. I'm going to look at those stones. Oh, they got some gold in the bottom right now. I'm going to look at them. Wow. I wonder why God is like that. What's that? <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all, y'all, y'all can't play with me. I'm just going to have to make an example out of it. Until you get the accursed thing from among you. See, God is concerned about contamination. The Ebola virus, you can't just play with it. Point it out. You got to separate it. You got to separate it from you. <clears throat> Isolate it. Mm -hmm. You can't let contamination hang around mm -hmm. and think you're going to be all right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you talk about faithless people, them kind of folk can mess you up. So, a lot of times in our lives, God is trying to take us to another level. Mm -hmm. God can't get you to where I'm going to talk about that Sunday. God can take you to the level but you can hang around some folk that's pulling you down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got to get that accursed stuff out of your life. You got some people who influencing you to do some, some negative stuff. <clears throat> got people who are perpetuating greed in your life. Materialism. We live in a materialistic society. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Living a bad time. I was looking at a, uh, uh, I was listening to somebody talk and he was saying, <coughs> God, he's crazy with a lot of stuff, but he, I'm talking, he said, there's a difference between a bigot and a racist. <coughs> Bigot is like uh, those people that storm the Capitol. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. rednecks going around with the flag, mm -hmm. Confederate flag. Proud boys. They hate, <coughs> not just some proud boys, I'm talking about all of them. They hate <laughs> certain people because of the race. Black folk. Mexicans. Mm -hmm. Asian. You don't meet a certain criteria. They don't like you. They want to see you dead. They're the kind that hang people on the tree. They lynch people. That's bigots. They dislike you because the color of your skin ain't the same as that. <coughs> a racist is not like that. Racists don't necessarily want you dead. They just want to control your financial resources. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what we're dealing with in America right now. <laughs> you got some Republicans, they don't mind you having an office position. They don't mind Obama being the president as long as they can control the money. Mm -hmm. They talk about the money they gave Ukraine. You know what they never talk about? They never talk about all the billions that the Republicans gave to the rich people during Trump's administration. Mm -hmm. That they claimed was going to trickle down to us. Mm -hmm. And I ain't got none trickle yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it amazing? They're down mm -hmm. taking more. How they, 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 they say this program that Biden mm -hmm. stayed to help poor people mm -hmm. who own 50% 
fixed income. Mm. It's going to let it expire. Because mm. it costs too much money. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody said they had too much money to send all the rich people that money. That yeah. trickle down. Mm -hmm. It ain't mm -hmm. trickle down mm -hmm. yet. Mm -hmm. The poor people. Mm -hmm. But look at the verse God. Now poor people don't have to pay. Going to receive $200 less per month. Aid from the government. But the cost of food is not here so much. It ain't just double. Mm -hmm. It doubled since last year. It keeps going up. Yeah. So well. what are people supposed to do? Mm. Price of food keeps going up. Mm. And not only are you not going to help them, you're going to take away what they get. What are you supposed to do? Price of food keep going up. Mm. And you're going to help them because that's the inflation. <coughs> and the way you help them is to raise the interest rate. Mm -hmm. So now mm. borrowing money is going to cost them more. Their little credit card is going to cost them more. Mm -hmm. Seems like to me you ain't helping them. Seems like to me you, you putting some rocks over their head. Mm. They don't mind you having a position, a title, prestige. They just want to control your financial resources. Mm -hmm. So now you got credit card. You brag about your credit card. I got me a gold card. I got me a black card. Mm -hmm. I got all yeah. <laughs> you got a, you got a headache. Yeah. You got debt. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what you got. You got debt. Mm -hmm. Most of poor people are drowning. In their debt. Yeah. <clears throat> and what do we do? We want to live like white folks, like the rich folks. Mm -hmm. We want to be able to drive the car the rich folk drive. Mm -hmm. Live in a house the rich folk live. Mm -hmm. we go to the place. We want to go to the beach that they go to. <laughs> Fly somewhere. Live a good life. God don't have a problem with you a good life. But there's certain priorities you need to. How is your 401k? When you die, do you have to take up a collection? Do you know how embarrassing it is when a child of God dies and they go to Let's go on Facebook and do what they call it. Go find me. Go find me. Mm -hmm. That means your behind is so trifling, you didn't even get no insurance to bury yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now you're going to steal more credit. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, most times it's a, it's a scam. It's a scam, yeah. You know, some past, uh, family got a GoFundMe play, mm -hmm. and the family ain't seen the dime of the money. That's right. Yeah. That's what that's, I see people in the family. Get the GoFundMe right. place. Right. Take the money in the family. What are we doing? You know? Scam. Why would they do that? Because we can get away with it. Not to answer nobody. They forget about us. Say when you defeat them, all of the spoil is yours. Mm -hmm. Not just the silver, mm -hmm. not just the gold, but the cattle, the sheep, the cattle, everything is yours. Mm -hmm. Wow. Can't wait. We're so busy trying to do it our way. Mm -hmm. We can't wait on God's way. And God said, if you can just wait on me, I can do exceedingly abundantly. God don't have no problem with blessing you. He got a problem with you allow your blessings to control you. He got a problem with you make a God out of your blessings instead of giving glory to God. 
been given to others. <laughs> so you know, I'm a disciple of Christ. Order my steps. Well, if you really want him to order your steps, you got to talk to him. Mm-hmm. Listen to him. Sometimes he's saying, be still. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you're trying to go to the next battle too quick. Mm-hmm. Kind of cool. Calm down. Mm-hmm. You're excited. You know, it's like a, 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 a fighter. You know, he's going to defeat somebody. Mm-hmm. And you're going to take, I want the champion now. You ain't ready for the champion. Mm-hmm. So you got to have a hammer. You got to have somebody who kind of help you mm-hmm. to know what's next. Yeah. Now, you're ready for the champion, but I tell you what, you, you just suffer here ahead. And you climb your way yeah. to the top. I can't get the chance, but I can get number five. Mm. I can get the chance, but I can be number four. Mm. Mm. You wait, work your way down to number one. Mm. God has some blessings in store for you, but you got to wait on God. Mm. Be still and know that I am God. I'll be exalted among the heathen. I'll be exalted. <coughs> God promised them all these victories, and you got a little chump to whoop them. Because they want to do it their way mm. instead of doing it God's way. Yeah. I'm saying I should put it out before. Um, when I was trying to get this building, I remember a meeting I was in. Deacons and <clears throat> trustees and some other people from the building committee. They called me in. So we had some little chunk book in the drawing that was smaller than the church we already had. Oh, this ain't gonna cut it. But you know, we were thinking you may need to have a meeting with the deacon and trustee to re-decide uh, if we would all build, maybe we all not be built. I said, I don't need to meet with the deacon trustee if you already met with the church. And the church and voted to build a new building. You're the building committee. You ain't no business meeting. You need to do what the church told you to do. Get me a building. Let me make it simple for y'all. You can't get me a building. I can go back where I came from. I left mediocrity. I leave mediocrity in Beaumont to come get mediocrity in Dallas. And I had to almost threaten to resign. To get them to act. Fast forward. <laughs> Got us a blueprint, finally built this building. Somehow made the blood clear. Mm-hmm. The same Negro <laughs> who was fighting tooth and nail in that meeting. We <laughs> didn't build this building, we did that. <laughs> it wasn't for me, we would have this building. I did so and so and so, and I did so. My granddaddy would say, My granddaddy would curse me if you make up for me. He'd say, I'll be swarming. Then go on the love scoundrel of a beast. He ain't cussing, but it sounded just like scoundrel of a beast. The jumper, the jumper, the jumper, he knows nothing to go from way over there to over here. And it's all because of. And that's what I was talking about earlier. Sometimes God will allow us to participate in the falling of the walls of Jericho. Mm. And then when the walls are down, we have what we did. We'll give God credit. I won't give God credit for nothing. You know, I mean, well, yeah, I just want to make sure. Somebody said, you know what, Rev? I thought you had lost your mind when you said we could build this building. He said, you know what? You showed us, God showed us he could do it. We're going to just give glory to God. Yeah. Let me see that. Let me see that. I, I got some credit. But from my members, though. People all around the city start calling me. Hey, man, you really doing it over there. Man, I never thought that church could do that. That's not me. God. God. But that's just the start. But see, sometimes we can't get to point two. In the promised land. Because mm-hmm. we're messing up with the first venture. Mm-hmm. 
We can't go to the next level because we don't let God handle us on this level. Mm. How do we proceed? Mm. Talking with God, allowing God to talk to, to lead us. Mm. Question, comments. Questions, comments. Anything I didn't talk about you want to talk about? Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All this happened over in the Middle East, right? Do they do they allow you to visit and see the sites and stuff? <laughs> The problem, is, the problem is a lot of these sites are not the sites now. You know, when they start talking about the the Roman cathedrals and when they, when they had all those, what they call it, when they were fighting the lions uh, in the Colosseum. A lot of you thought excavating a site, mm -hmm. they had to dig down to find those sites. Mm -hmm. They still there. A lot of them got covered up mm -hmm. with land and dirt and stuff. <clears throat> so it's still there. Uh, when you get a chance, I want all y'all to, to uh, take the time and go on YouTube mm -hmm. and put in Kush and get the background on Kush. Kush is uh, was loca located in the modern day Sudan. It's a thing. Cush, it's a person too. See, Cush is the name the Bible gave that boy. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Noah's grandson. Mm -hmm. Okay. And of course, they say Noah cursed him. So I was talking to the son of the day because see, we I said you're not teaching my children that mess talking about they were cursed because they were trying to say black people are cursed. Because the boy saw Noah naked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Cush ain't even the one who saw him naked. Right. His daddy is the one who saw him. Right. Naked. Mm -hmm. But his daddy saw him naked because he was going in to see his daddy. His daddy stormed drunk, laying that naked. naked. Well, that wasn't the boy doing nothing wrong. That's his daddy. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're going to speak to your daddy or say something to your daddy, you open the door and see him naked. You can't blame you. See? But then he goes and tells the other boys, and then the, the two brothers walk in backwards with the sheep to cover him. Well, yeah, they did the right thing. If they had seen him first and told me, I'd have done the same thing. But they didn't see him first. I saw him first. But you can't be cussing me for that. Because no one cussed somebody, don't mean they cussed. I say cuss, I'm okay. curse. You see, you mm -hmm. see, you curse. I still remember Rev. Vitale. He said, You've been cussed with a cuss. But <laughs> 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 so this is what I'll tell you. Cush is this grandson. Mm -hmm. That's the one that he is descended. We're talking about Cush now, though. I'm talking about Cush. When you research Africa, Africa encompasses a whole lot of place, mm -hmm. some of which is not even given credit to Africa now. But the real Africa, Back in the day, that was a region that was inhabited by the tribe of Kush. They were African. It was the most advanced area in the world then. They were some of the most smartest, most intelligent. Uh, you see, you were talking about the, the uh, architectural advancement, agricultural advancement. They, this was one of the most advanced cultures in the world. In fact, it was so advanced, they didn't know if they'd be able to caught up. A lot of the technology they talk about in the pyramids, I tell you, I'm, my degree is engineering. The one thing they teach you is even with all the knowledge you have now, they don't know if they'd be able to reproduce those pyramids, <clears throat> even with the cranes and all that. They don't really know how it was done. It's kind of mysterious. Mm -hmm. But they had that kind of technology. Mm -hmm. 
I said all that to say this, that when you research it, you're going to find that these people were pretty sharp and a lot of credit. Because see, one thing is we've been done, we've been lied to in terms of our culture. <clears throat> they act like a lot of stuff came from the Europeans and a lot of stuff came from the North. But see, these guys were doing stuff before the Europeans even had a clue. Mm -hmm. They didn't even have a clue. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff we talk about God and Jesus. That area was was won over by Christianity way before the Europeans. Europeans came way out long after the fact. Even the Romans after the fact. What are you saying? I'm saying because they did. They raped our culture. Our history has been messed up. That's why they don't want y'all to teach it in school. Because they know they messed up a lot of the history. This guy, a lot of my boys are talking about uh, Egyptology. What is Egyptology? They say, well, it's a study of Egypt. And of course, they say Egypt, they're not just talking about the old time. They're talking about Egypt that now comes a lot more. He said, no, really what happened is they decided to study these <coughs> this site in Egypt that all these new discoveries was being made to illustrate the advancement of black people and their contribution to the world. Mm -hmm. And they used Egyptology to mislead the yeah. facts. Mm -hmm. And put on it what they want to put on. Mm -hmm. That's why they don't want y'all to study where you come from. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at oh, I'm gonna tell you. Y'all write that down. Look up a lady called Mary, I think it's Mary Ellen Pleasant. The Mary Pleasant. Mm -hmm. Mary Pleasant. Mm -hmm. She is probably the first black millionaire mm -hmm. in the world especially in our country. She was a slave. Uh, she bought her freedom. Um, well, she was married to some people before that even. But she ends up in California. While she's in California, she's so bright she could pass for white. And she was passing for white. Homegirl was a cook. She could, a chef, she could cook real good. All these rich people were trying to hire her mm -hmm. to work in their kitchen or work in their restaurants. Mm -hmm. She decided if they won't be this bad, <coughs> I'm going to open up my own restaurant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She opened up her restaurant and she started hiring black folks in key positions. <coughs> Homegirl started making goo goo the money. <laughs> it's so successful, she ends up opening up other businesses. <coughs> YouTube, look it up on YouTube. <laughs> Mary Pleasant. She opens up other businesses. Homegirl ends up with about $30 million mm. back in the 1860s. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I said, you heard what I just said? 30 million mm. dollars. Now, then somebody say, well, that's about a billion. I don't know. Do the math. I mean, I got enough math background to know that's a lie. <laughs> One guy said, well, that's about 300 something billion. Uh, that's another thing. See, you can't even count. <laughs> <laughs> if you had $30 million in 1950, yeah. you can imagine what it'd be worth now. Yeah. And when I was. When I was a boy in the 60s and 70s, if you had a thousand dollars, they thought you was rich. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, back in the day, when they had the, the uh, what they call it, T-Mall A, how much that first T-Mall cost when it came out? It would have been a four man car, like one or two thousand mm dollars. -hmm. Brand new car. Mm -hmm. You get for one, two thousand. Mm -hmm. The first Cadillac I bought, <laughs> In 1975, it was a 1976. I paid $11,000 for that. My house costs, no, no, like $11,500. My house costs $11,000. 
I paid off my Cadillac in three years. And I still had 28 years on my house. <laughs> that was in 19, it was in 1976. In 1975, one day, or maybe one, let's say 1974, you could get a brand new Fleetwood Cadillac for $4,500. You didn't even have for about, I had a, a coupe to do. You know the Fleetwood? Fleetwood was the top of the line. The big one. You could get the big one. For less than half what I paid for a coupe a couple of years later. Mm. But I take care of the inflation. And now Hall calls you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> $100,000. Uh, I'm trying to get you to see the economy. That's in yes. the 70s. Yeah. Now let's rewind back to the 50s. Mm. Can you imagine if somebody had 30? Million dollars. Mm -hmm. How much that be worth? Inflation wise. Mm -hmm. Delano Roosevelt he had the perfect plan for our retirement. He had people paying into the government. Mm -hmm. The government invested the money mm -hmm. so that when we retire, we could receive our money mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Delano Roosevelt had the perfect plan. Mm -hmm. We would be filthy rich if they stuck to the plan. Mm -hmm. The problem is them suckers spent my money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Saying they're going to pay it back later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they never paid it back. Mm -hmm. Now they're going to talk about cutting off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they the one did the sin, not us. Mm -hmm. right? They took my money, your money, mm -hmm. my daddy's money, mm -hmm. our people's money, and misused it. Mm -hmm. Talking about what they're going to do. And then they get amnesia like they got amnesia not by so many other things. Mm -hmm. Because they want to control yeah. your resources, your finances. Mm -hmm. You think about this. They want to control your finance. Every time you want to go on a shopping spree, control your finance. I don't have no problem with you going on a shopping spree. But before you buy a new car, you want to make sure you got a house to live in. All right. <laughs> Next time you want to go buy a new dress, make sure you got some money in your 401k or you have a 401k. Mm -hmm. Instead of paying somebody. Hundred dollars a month for some whole life insurance. You might ought to invest in you. Investing in some stocks and bonds. Seeing if you can kind of generate some. Questions, comments. I got quiet. Why don't we start a class here? So, I got a class, new members class, you was in it. That's what I'm talking about. No, no, this is stocks. Stewardship. Stewardship. Right now, stocks. See the thing about stocks and bonds, they got plenty of people online on the they try to invest in stocks. But what you got to look at is, you can make a fortune on the internet. Most of my money came off investments in stocks and bonds. But you can lose your shirt overnight. Mm -hmm. with, the mm -hmm. with the market being as volatile as it is right now, ain't no time to be playing in that book. But it's skittish. See, like they, all these people lost money on these, they call the themselves the Bitcoin. The Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. they, got, they got three or four others now. Yeah, I mean, you're going to talk about Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah, all that. Yeah. <laughs> But see what they do, they get poor people to invest them. And I had a consultant on the internet come tell me how to invest. And what they do, they tell you a small, low dollar stock that you can invest in to make money. You know, they have some stocks that you could buy 
for 20 cents a share. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so you can buy it for 20 cents a share. And then, you know, you buy you a thousand shares. It's a thousand times 20. The $200 for 20. Yeah. Okay. Now, what do you do when it goes from 20 cents to $2? How much? Play with the options. What? Well, that's another sermon. We ain't never going to talk about that. Look in the head. But that gets complicated. But see, just the point. You got, the point I'm trying to make you see, you can start with a little money. And it can go up a little. Because $2 a share ain't no money. But see, what these suckers are doing, I'm telling you about these advisors. They pick a stock like the one I just mentioned. They get theirs for the 20 cents a share. Then they recommend you buy it so you can make some money. Well, when a million people listen to them and buy it, mm -hmm. it's going to go up a little higher than two dollars. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when it goes up, he's going to be the first one to sell. Mm -hmm. And by the time you sell, mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. you got shot. Mm -hmm. Now, what you're talking about. You can buy options. You can buy stock, but you don't pay for the stock. But you buy the option to buy it later. But you are saying later it's going to be higher, or later it's going to be lower. And what they'll do, they'll reserve those stocks for you to purchase it later. If you guess right, you can make big money. If you get it wrong. So you're saying, okay, if I can hire option, I get the option to buy uh, stock in this two dollars a share, and I'm saying it's gonna go up. But basically, what it says is, I got option on ten thousand shares. When it goes up, they got to sell me the stock, but they got to sell it the price that I bought my option at. <laughs> so even though it went up. Be careful, the stock market ain't nothing to play with it, so be serious. But get yourself like a, you know, see, the problem is this stuff, what they call, like my bank was trying to get me to invest in some stuff. But see, if I'd listen to them, I'd have lost half my money. Mm -hmm. See, like this stuff goes up, mm -hmm. come back. Mm -hmm. Have I ever lost some? Yeah, I lost some money. Anybody invest in it, not so much. <laughs> but I made it, I'm <laughs> so, you know, my thing is, is, you know, put some aside for yourself. You put, it ain't no much you put in the savings account. Put it somewhere, you know. Just like you pay God, like I tell folks in my ministry, like, you give God 10%, give him 10%. Pay you. If you just pay it, put it in an account, you'll be surprised. The one thing is, my old boy told me, you will be surprised how quickly that money accumulates when you're just diligent about saving, paying you. You see, you know, when your old is being clean, too late. <laughs> I mean, you know, I still save because I'm, I'm old, but if I stopped when I was 60, that would be 10 years wasted. But can you imagine if she was saved? You met somebody in their twenties start saving. You can save twenty five dollars a month when you're twenty five, and before you make fifty, you'll be a multimillionaire. What say? What say? Nothing. You're part of yours, isn't it? Nope. You know, you had that two dollars I gave you for birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Questions, comments. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to keep y'all this long. I'm trying to.
<laughs> you need to get that point anybody. You sure need to get it. Stop paying all the hospital bills. You could be rich. <laughs> uh, Sister uh, Ferguson. Connie. Connie. Connie is out of the hospital. Mm -hmm. Anybody else on the sick report? Little Nate Daniel back in the hospital. He's missing. The Jackson grandson? Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah. And Dara's out the hospital. Who's this? Dara's Maples. Sister Maples? Oh, Doris. Mm -hmm. Who's that? She said that she died. I said Doris. Doris. Oh my God. I said Ellen Pickett. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what like, whatever. whatever. I'm, trying, no. I mean, I'm just saying, I can, hit, I can get Doris out when I heard you. I said Doris. You said Doris. Doris. You said Doris. 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 She ain't gonna know what you're talking about. No, she doing. She ain't gonna yeah. know what now word I think. But you call the name and she saying something totally different. <laughs> call Kim. Call him. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have a him. <laughs> All right. Glad to see y'all here tonight. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Y'all tired the next session. I thought y'all gonna be behind y'all caught. All right, let's stand up and have a benediction. Who's supposed to pray tonight? Oh, please. Oh. Diary is supposed to pray to pray tonight. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> gonna bear your sister out. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Once again, for letting us gather together to hear a word from me. Continue to lead and guide us. Thank you for my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I pray for those who are sick. I ask that you will speak healing. I ask that you will give comfort to those who are Bless Bethany. Bless Pastor Hain. Continue to use him to lead and guide us. And then, Father God, as we dread to journey home, please be with us and carry us safely. In your son Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you for coming.